Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Thanks for joining us. As you can see, Art and I are with our favorite love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrega. Michelle, great to see you again. Hi, Hi John. Michelle. Hi, Art. Uh, how you doing? Yeah, you know, in the past, uh, on uh, uh, several uh, episodes, uh, uh, I think at least three or four of them, uh, meditation has come up as uh, a tool uh, uh, to help a relationship in one form or another, not always right. uh, reacting to it in a bad way or good way. Could you expound a little bit more on the value of meditation uh, to a healthy relationship? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm not a meditation teacher, but I am a practitioner. I, I meditate every day. I've been doing so for about, um, it's been over 11 years now. I have a daily practice, 30 minutes a day, which is a lot of minutes, a lot of hours. Um, anyway, so the reason I lead with that is that, so I, you know, there's a lot of resources out there for the different types. There's many different types, but what I've noticed in, for myself and in my practice with clients is that a lot of times in relationships, there's conflict, right? <laughs> there's tense moments. There's, you know, oh, we're on the way to the airport. We forgot this. You know, there are things that just, whoa, suddenly drop out in a situation. And um, how do we roll with those kinds of things? And one of the things that we can really help that, not in that moment, of course, in that moment, you're, you can be screwed, <laughs> right? But what can help smooth out a lot of these, you know, b bumps and, and edges in life is meditation. And so our I'm glad we're talking about it today. Yeah. So, so let, let's go to uh, go to the airport thing, okay? <laughs> and uh, uh, one person uh, says, oh, crap, we forgot this or this, or do we have the passport or whatever it happens to be. So how do you meditate in that moment to smooth, <laughs> to smooth it over? Especially, yeah, if, yeah, you're, well, especially if you're driving. <laughs> well... Right. Well, one of the things that, so there's, there's the actual practice of meditation, which we do, you know, in the morning or evening or whenever you do your five minutes, you do your 30 minutes, whatever. But so there's that time, but that has benefits throughout the whole day. So we actually learn a place. It's like building a muscle to, you know, come back to that place of rest. Right. So this happens in the moment and you're like, okay, maybe you first take a breath. You know, this is not the time to yell at your partner. This is not the time to call them a idiot, you know, whatever, whatever word it comes to. It's just like, all right, take a breath, assess the situation. What am I going to do with this? So, I mean, this is definitely something I've noticed for myself is that I actually, one of the um, great teachers talks about catching the spark before the flame. <laughs> and the idea is that there is this moment of, reactivity that happens suddenly. And if we can notice that spark without, you know, saying something in our mind, uh, saying something in our mind, what am I saying? Let me repeat that. If we, without bursting out with some, you know, judgment or anger or, you know, criticism, whatever, we have the capacity to respond and actually help the situation, right? Yeah, when I was a yeah. kid, uh, my, I remember, uh... Uh, my uh, uh, mother and father at one point or another saying uh, uh, after I've lashed back out at something is, hey, bite your tongue, count to 10 before you answer. So it sounds <laughs> like uh, meditation is that new bite your tongue, count to 10. It's <laughs> take a deep breath before angry words spew out of your mouth without having thought it through at least a little bit. on, OK, what are we trying to accomplish here? Sure. Yeah. And, yeah. Or whatever just, technique, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's lots right, of techniques. Right. There are lots of different techniques out there. Um, yeah. And and like I said, I'm, I'm not an expert on this, but, but um, you know, a lot of resources out there, different types. There's, um, you know, mindfulness where you're kind of just really being noticing the present moment and feelings and sensations and, and all kinds of things. Um, but it's basically, it, it needs practice. Like it's not something we just can do when we're stressed. I mean, we can do it that way, but it's better to actually have a regular, it's kind of like exercise or even brushing your teeth, you know, something you do on a regular basis. So you kind of build in that new, you know, slightly um, less revved up, you know, motoring that your system, you know, I'm using real technical terms here for the body, but you know, you're really trying to lower that level of 
uh, revving really. And sure. so that you can be more calm in tense moments. Sure. Well, I, I uh, can't, I'm sorry to do this but, and take a, a very interesting conversation to ruin it, but I can't help but remember the episode of Seinfeld where George's father had a, a anger problem and he learned a mantra uh, <laughs> and the mantra was serenity now. <laughs> and of course he was the kind of personality that even a mantra wouldn't help calm his uh, anger. And so he would end up going serenity now. Serenity now. <laughs> Serenity. I mean, it was a very funny episode, but <laughs> it, it right. didn't really address the, the true benefits of, of meditation, which is what right. you're talking about. Meditation. Yeah, right. But it is a way to catch. I mean, this, you know, I didn't see the episode, but it's a way to catch ourselves and, you know, hold on to whatever else he could have been yelling or saying or doing. Right. So there is. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, there is something I mean, you know, because. I, you know, obviously there are many, um, there's a lot of information about the benefits, you know, reduce stress, anxiety, boosts your immunity, lowers blood pressure, you know, decreases pain, um, increase focus, boost creativity and productivity and lower risk of depression. And um, it, these are, these are all benefits. It, uh, just, yeah. M Michelle is, is part of what um, meditation doing is, is it putting us in touch with our emotions, our feelings? Is that well, what it yes. is? Yes, that is a, a big part of it. So a lot of us have trouble really understanding our emotions and are uncomfortable with them. And different meditations, like, for instance, mindfulness, can really help us kind of notice our feelings and allow them to be, maybe we feel this, like, you know, tension in our chest. It's like, oh, there's tension in my chest. Okay, there it is, as opposed to, I'm uncomfortable. I'm climbing out of my skin. I got to say, do something. I got to yeah. whatever, create yeah. some havoc. So it is, you're right. It's about getting more, you know, maybe emotional intelligence, let's say, about how to be with our own emotions, get more familiar with our, you know, our reactivity, our noticing of things. And, you know, so it builds more self awareness, which, you know, of course, all these things are going to help your relationship with everybody, really. And, you know, not just your love relationship with your, with a partner, if you have one, but, with family and um, even strangers. I mean, you know, somebody cuts you off in traffic. It's like, imagine having a moment of just, oh, oof, as opposed to, you know, flipping them off or something <laughs> like that, you know? Yeah. Wait, wait, don't, don't, don't discount flipping them off. There's a, <laughs> there's a release. Yeah, that, that's an important part of our culture. Yeah. Yeah. Although, although uh, only because uh, John, you went to Seinfeld, I'm going to go to uh, a, a year I lived in Australia where uh, you drive on the opposite side of the road. And uh, I remember, uh, and I lived there for about a year and a half. I had my, uh, a car and uh, I was just, I got into it. But it, it took me about, I'd say a month when I flipped the guy the bird and I <laughs> wasn't doing it to the passenger seat. And I learned, <laughs> I learned that because sometimes what I would do is I flip the bird to like the guy's wife or girlfriend and uh, they really didn't do anything. So anyway, there there could be some uh, uh, med meditative moments, bite your tongue moments uh, <laughs> to do that. So you had right, Seinfeld, right, right. I had Australia. Uh, um, maybe what you can do, Michelle, is leave us with uh, uh, <clears throat> meditation and how it can boost that relationship, uh, uh, especially with somebody that we're close to. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, it, it's really about helping us be feel calmer and feel um, more at ease, more at peace, and basically less reactive in tense situations. And we all know, I mean, a lot of the, cra the, the challenges that happen in relationships are really when people are upset, when something goes wrong, when something, you know, when somebody says something, can we not say, you know, can, can we not sling the second arrow back, like they say, um, and just, okay, I didn't like what you just said to me. I feel really tense right now. Can we just take a pause? You know, I've talked about a pause agreement in another episode, but the idea is that we're just trying to lower our kind of ambient level of reactivity. Mm -hmm. And that's what meditation can do. And so, I mean, my invitation to everybody listening is, you know, if you're not already meditating, just start, you know, yeah. five minutes a day, something like that. Yeah. And um, I mean, for me, it's just it's been life changing because I was a very edu pretty high energy person, as you can probably tell. But I was highly reactive and um, it, it didn't go well with parenting. It didn't go well with, 
in my marriage. And so I, I'm kind of a, I'm like an ex-smoker that way. It's like, it's just <laughs> so been so beneficial to me. And I love, I love sharing about it. Cause I just, I, I, I feel more like joy and, and just calm on a regular, I mean, there are other things I change in my life too, but meditation has been something that like, it, it just, it's yeah, I, I'm a convert. That's, well, that's excellent. Well, good. I'm glad it's helped you because it's helped th millions of people. Right. And, and uh, remember uh, that if, uh, while you're getting into meditating, uh, in the worst case, bite your tongue. Count to 10. <laughs> Count to 10. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. We'll do another episode on that, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.